Hello, welcome to this vlog. I haven't got mascara on again because I have yet to do that. But I'm just quickly doing this while I'm not too late. Um, I'll be late soon if I don't hurry up. But if you haven't gathered, this is my choice fan concert vlog. So hi. Yeah, that's going to be it for now. So <laughs> see you in a second for you. But <laughs> I don't know. So. I'm in the car right now, it's a bit later from when I last talked, although it's like a second for you. And I'm just waiting for my mum to get here and then we are off to the train station and off to London. Also, update, in my last vlog if you saw it when I went to London with Carla, I said at the end that I lost or got my purse stolen. Well apparently, because we like went around asking like loads of shops and that, and we called a few again like the next day to in case because some of them said to call. And we emailed Primark and they, because we tried calling them and they didn't call back, I mean answer, <laughs> so we emailed them instead and they emailed back and said that they found my purse. Um, we're not a thousand percent sure it would definitely be my purse so we're not like got our hopes up too much but we said like things that were in it and like what it looks like and my contact details and stuff like I've got things in it with like my name on it and stuff so it's like so hopefully it is my purse and we're going to collect that now so we're going to Stratford we're going to go to Victoria because that's kind of like closer to get the underground to where the concert is but now because my purse we don't want to pay because it's like over £15 to get to London. We're not going to pay that much to go get my purse. So we're just going to get it today whilst we're going there anyway. We just have to pay a bit more to go to Stratford instead. But actually we're driving to Epsfleet now so I won't be. But yeah, basically yeah. So we're hopefully going to get my purse back today. So that will be great. <laughs> I mean, they said there's no money in it and there was money in it. But like, at least I get everything else in my purse back. Hopefully my cinema ticket and my photo booth photos with Carla. <laughs> and hopefully my McDonald's coffee thing so I had like three stickers on it yeah anyway I'm gonna stop talking now so yeah we're at the car park for the train station and then we're gonna walk to the train and get on the train <laughs> fun look there's a train can you see the train is that false from Epsley or not I think that might be the Victoria and it looks too high yeah. are they that? they're not that high are they? right so we're walking to the train station from the car park because it's like kind of like the car park's back there and then you have to walk all the way around this way to the car park because I don't know it's a bigger car park not to the car park to the train station the car park who? Cheaper. Yeah. So if you want to pay more, you can be closer to it, but we don't want to. So yeah. But yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> That's beautiful. We here. There's Westfield. How many times have I shot this exact thing? <laughs> One away from my favourite number. <laughs> we have our food. Yum yum. The lighting in here is terrible. But yeah. Oh, I need to put the phone on charge. There it is. I don't know if you can see. You cannot. Mm, still can't see. That's cool. It's too bright. Uh. I'm not 
presence. Um, and anyway, so you guys know what it's like. Like before I came out, I knew about gay people, and I was like, okay, that's like fine. But you know, that's for for other people. I'm not gay. I just really want to like have sex with men eventually. And so I was like, that's that's not that's not me being gay. That's just like me being me or whatever. And eventually, I was like, wait, maybe I am gay. Maybe this is like my my life. I wanted to write a song about um, about kind of that experience and those moments of vulnerability. And, um, and so I wrote this song, and now I come out and I sing it at shows like this, and it has seriously, I love it, and it has completely, completely changed my life, and I would love to sing with you guys here tonight if that's cool. This is a song called Heaven. Yeah. 
about um, a breakup, and, and um, breakups suck for everyone involved, like for both parties, it really is just the worst, and I felt like, so in this particular situation, I was the one doing the breaking up, right? Has anyone ever been in that situation before? Okay. So, I'm not saying that that's the easier position to be in, because I don't think it is, but um, it still is shit. And there is, you know, I felt a lot of guilt and stuff like that, because I was like, wait, I really care about this person, and I never ever want to hurt anyone, especially someone that I really care about. So, what the fuck, this sucks. And um, I was super cut up about it, and didn't really know what to do. And so I did the thing that I think all of us would do, which is like, turn to a friend. And the person that I turned to was Leland, who opened up for us tonight. How good is Leland, everyone? Um, so me and him got together, and I was telling him the whole story, and he already knew it because we like talked about everything, and um, he was like, we could try write a song about it. And I was like, I don't know, it feels very complex, and like, there's a lot of layers to this that I don't think we'd be able to get into a song.
Anyways, guys, a couple things. First of all, I'm going to GAY on Saturday night. If wants to it's going to be fucking awesome. Um, the other thing is, all right, Lucky Ray. Is there a Lucky Ray in the crowd? Where? You? Are you sure? Are you lying to me? Just you're lucky. Ray. All right. Well, someone's. Is there a Lucky Ray? Anyone Lucky Ray called that you? Okay, well, your grandma sent me a note in the post to my Glasgow show to tell everyone, like, to tell me that it was your birthday today. Is that true? It's okay. Right. Guys, you don't understand how sweet this letter was from his grandma. It was fucking awesome. It was like the best song of my life ever. Uh, so we want to sing happy birthday to Lucky Ray, right?
Toilet. About to go home. Yep. Didn't need to know that, but I'm telling you anyway. <laughs> 